Welcome friends, it's Kaylee Bird. Today is the final part of my five part series on drawing portraits realistically. We are going to go over how to place the features properly on the face from the front, side view, and three quarter view. Hopefully you saw my other four videos on how to draw the eyes, ears, nose, and mouth also from the front view, side view, and three quarter view. If you didn't, check down below, I've got those links for you. I hope you learned so much today guys. This has been a big series and I did it all for you. So make sure you pop that subscribe button so you come back over and over and over again and I'll give you all the artsy goodness. Thank you. All right, we're gonna get right into it today because today's video is going to be a bit of a doozy. So we're gonna to wanna to start off with a nice, strong circle. And find your center, because you wanna put a perfectly horizontal line right in the middle of it. we want it to be split into five even parts. So you're gonna put in four lines, dividing it up into five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. Remember how we said the human head is five eyes wide? So that is gonna be our representation. Now, here's your center point. So the center of the bottom of the circle, we need to know where that is. Now you're going to take two eyes wide, and you want to make this distance equal to this distance. So I'll take my handy little pencil here and measure, that's how wide that is right there. I'll put that right down here, make a mark, and there we go. Okay, now the halfway mark. So basically this equals this, this equals this, this, this are the same, this, this are the same. So you wanna make sure that these are all equal to each other, okay? Now, you want to find the center point between these two, the bottom of the circle, and this first one. So there's my center point for those two, okay? Now, after finding my center point, I'm gonna need another circle. It's going to be much smaller than this big one, I want this to be my center and this to be the outside of the circle. So that means the circle needs to be about this big. Now I already went and checked what I had so I know that this works. So that is my circle point. This is gonna be the bottom of my circle. We're gonna to wanna to connect the two circles right where they most obviously meet. So if you were to put two circles on the side, you see that? We're gonna connect these two right where they would naturally meet. And then right where these points meet, you're gonna have another line. These two lines sort of represent the jawline. However, a jawline is actually a little bit softer, so you can bring your jawline out just a little bit, right? There's kind of the jaw chin area, okay? So that would be your actual jawline. This being your chin, of course. Okay, now the side of your head, actually the widest point is usually right at about your upper cheekbones. So we're going to use this as the vertical to chop off that part of your head. Well, of this uh, fictional drawing of a head, that sounded a little harsh. <laughs> so this is actually the side of your head, okay? So if you come down here, this, this, and this actually makes up what the side of the head looks like, okay? Okay, so this is what you come down, and these are actually about where your eyes are. This is more like your brow line, and these are more like your eyes. So this is not going to include your eyelid and everything, but your eyes are more about this area. You know, maybe perhaps eyelid is coming up a bit higher type of thing. But that's about where your eyes are and then your brow meets somewhere right above that line. Now, as far as your nose goes, think about where that little inner area of your eye is, right? The nose usually comes to about as wide as that little eye inner. So not quite at the tip of your 
eye, but right where that little eye inner area comes in. So that's about where I'll mark the nose. And the bottom of the nose lines up with your first circle line. Now the lips will meet right in between those two lines that you already have marked. Okay? And the lips usually tend to go to around where the iris is. So if you think about, here's the iris in your eye, your lips are gonna end right about where the iris begins, okay? Now this is for a straight face. If they're smiling or something, it might come back a bit more, but they usually end right about where the iris begins, right? Right here and here, okay? And they say that is the top lip, and this one is the bottom. Now, I would say if there's any place to very uh, differentiate between this and reality, I think it might be the lips. I think sometimes the lips can tend to be a bit fuller, especially these days with, you know, how, how the ladies be plumping them up. So the lip, the bottom lip, you might um, variate a little bit from there, but that's what it shows. Now, last but not least, we gotta get those ears in there. So right where the eye line was, and then the bottom of the nose. is where those ears usually wind up. Wind up, as if they're usually wandering, yeah. They wind up here at the end of the day when they're finished wandering, <laughs> pretty much. So there we go, there's those side ears coming in right there. All right, now it is not beautiful, but that is the structure of a face. Now there is one little thing that you can, or there's a lot of ways that you can check, but one way that I like to check is this point should be equal to this distance, should be equal to this distance, should be equal to this distance. And what I mean by that is you should be able to draw on any face, straight on, a perfect triangle from the outside of the corner of the ears to the bottom of the base of the lip, like this. So this should be a perfect triangle on your figure if you've done everything correctly. Okay, so profile view of your portrait. Let's start off with a square. Okay. So you find that center. And let's go ahead and put some crisscross center lines in here. Divide it into equal quarters. The first part of the skull is going to come all the way to the top, okay? My second part of the skull is going to come all the way to about three quarters of the back. Oh, I didn't move. There we go, that's about what I wanted. About three quarters to the back. And then the last one is going to come up about half, okay? And then you've got your jawline. Now to figure out where your jaw is, you wanna come up halfway, divide it into fourths, and your jaw, your chin will come just below that fourth. Nose actually starts slightly in and slightly above the halfway point and it's gonna come down. Now this line represents the top of the lip and this one is the bottom. Of course, remember that the lip comes out a bit. And then your skin actually comes out a bit from this because if you think about this as being your skull, of course your skin comes out a bit from that. And then your nose comes and meets pretty close. This quarter line is about where your, um, the top of your nostril starts. So the bottom of your nostril is kind of right up under there. As far as your eyeball goes, oh, if you think about the top of your nose, let me finish this, it kind of comes back out for your bra line, okay? So if you think about where your eyeball is, your eyeball actually meets the center, lines up with this brow line. So think about that being about where your pupil is. And remember from the side, we just showed it shown it being and your 
brow comes a little bit farther forward and around. Now, last but not least, your ear. You like to think that it's right in the center, but it's actually set farther back. So the top of your ear is actually more like about right where the center line is. And it comes back around. And remember that nice angle we had for our ears. Usually the neck starts right around in here, kind of similar to where the brow line ends, but you've got your neckline. And then the back of your neck, you might think it's way down here, but it's actually a little bit further. Now remember that the, the back of the head does bulb out a little bit, but your neckline will come out about right there. Look at that, one profile view. Didn't I tell you I'd take care of you folks? three quarter view. So we're gonna start off with another circle. Okay, but instead of picturing our middle coming down here, we want the middle to be about three quarters of the way over. Funny how that works out, right? So think about this, and it's not a straight up and down because we're not looking at it straight. It's kind of more of a curved line. So this is how you find sort of your center of your three quarter view, okay? So we got a center line going on. And now the chin is again about three fifths. So if you think about this as being the full length, about three fifths is somewhere right about in here. So we want that chin to come down again, about three fifths. Oh, look at that, I guess just right. So there's our chin mark, okay? So this would be halfway between those two things. Now I want you to think about the side of the face coming down closer on one side and with jawline and some room on the other as we do our three quarter view, All right? Jawline varies greatly depending on who you're drawing, but that's about it. Now, this is about the bottom of where our nose is going to be again, okay? And this is about the bottom of our lips. So if we've got about halfway between those two is where the top of our lip comes in. So remember we have it longer on one side, shorter on the other to show that angle. Let me fix that up a little bit better. I know I'm going fast on this one because I don't want the video to take too long, but there we go. I don't want to be completely lazy either. All right, there we go. So that's kind of our, uh, our mouth from the side. Are much shorter. So when we're thinking about this being our center line, here is our, our circle center right about here, okay? So that is going to be our brow line. Slightly below that is going to be the actual eye line. And your nose is going to come out. It's going to be, remember how we talked about not quite as stark of an angle as if a profile view, but more so obviously than a straight on view. So you've got your nose coming out about here. And of course the top of the nose connects to your brow line. And if you think about your eye, it comes right about in here. I think I made this one a little bit low, so it might be more like about right there. And your eye kind of comes out right around in this area. side of your mouth will still line up with the corner of your eye, but remember we're taking everything on that sort of rounded plane. So if you think about your iris, your eye, your iris, sorry, your pupil and the corner of your mouth will still line up right about there. Now the top of your ear is going to be at the top of the brow and the bottom ends about where your nose is. You got all the hair or whatnot coming all around here. So that kind of finishes the top of your face. And then your neck usually comes out right around in there. It kind of depends on the person you're drawing. 
that's about where your neckline comes out. Now don't forget that we have a brow line that comes out, what do you know, right on the brow line, meets right around the eye, and then comes out for the side of that chin. Alrighty folks, I hope you learned so much today. Make sure you pop that subscribe button and check out the rest of my Drawing Portraits Realistically series if you haven't already. See you next time.